So I'm hoping this is going to answer questions about bonds, if you didn't follow me the other day, or if you're coming into the classroom late. Um, remember, a bond is like an IOU, right? Um, it's evidence of debt. Remember, we're going to price bonds, and interest expense is tax deductible, something we talked about last unit, and everybody got it right on the test. So I'm assuming you know the bonds, you pay interest on bonds, it's debt, it's what we're going to look at is pricing corporate debt, and this interest expense is de tax deductible. Since bonds pay over time, so just, just like a mortgage payment or a car payment, there's a time value of money. You're going to be paying back that bond probably in less dear dollars. The value of the dollar will go down over time because of inflation. And so you're borrowing money and paying it back with less dear dollars. So what you have to look at is, okay, what is the price today? With this happening, these interest payments happening over time, and, you know, it can be anywhere from, what, three years to 30 years, right, that you're paying back on these bonds. You have to use time value money calculations, and most bonds are semi-annual payments, right, that, you know, you're going to be paying twice a year. So remember, with semi-annual payments, right, what you have to take into account is your interest rate, is stated eight annually. So you want to take the market rate and divide by two to get your semi-annual rate. Your period of time will be years. So you take your period, let's say 10 years, and multiply by 2. The other thing that you're going to have on this bond is the fact that you're going to have a coupon payment. And remember, the coupon or interest expense, your interest payment, which is twice a year, is going to be stated as a rate because that's what's going to be on the face of the bond. So let's say you have a 5% bond. This is 5 divided by 2 or 2.5% two every 6 months. Right, again, right, It's the amount of time. I'm gonna see if I can move this around. All right, I can't move that. I can. Let's see. Yes, I can. All right. So you're gonna go ahead, and then to figure out that coupon interest payment, and I'll just do another thing up here. So to figure out your payment, on a bond, you're gonna take the face value which is also the future value, what you're going to be paid back in the future, right? times the coupon rate. And if it's semi-annual, divide by 2. If it's not semi-annual, just leave it there. So let's say you have that 5% bond. And it's going to be just stated, a 5% bond. And let's say the bond is $1,000, right? That's the future value or face value. You'll do 1000 times 5%, which is $50 per year, or $25 semi-annually. Okay, so let's do a couple quick questions. Okay, so let's do our first question. So this is a question, this is an annual payment bond, and that's typical government bonds, your annual payments. And most of the time it's going to ask you what the price is. And remember, price for a bond is the same as present value. Um, the face value, or whatever this bond is stated at, is your future value. So whatever it says, this is a thousand dollar bond. The payment is equal to your future value times your coupon rate. Right? Your period is the number of years. 
or semi-annual period payments. This is an annual payment bond, so it's just going to be the number of years. And your rate is the market rate. So remember, for every time value money question, you're going to go ahead on, on Excel or on your calculator, you're going to have a PV, you're going to have an FB, you're going to have a payment, you're going to have an end period, and you're going to have a rate. For this one, we don't know our present value, right? So we don't know this. We know the future value is a thousand. We know our payment is a thousand times five and a half percent, or five point five percent, which is going to be fifty-five dollars, right? I just did the amount multiplication. Our period is six periods, and our rate is four percent. So you're going to go ahead, whoops, and you're going to plug this into either Excel or into your financial calculator. And I don't care which way you do it, right? If you do it on Excel, if you do it on financial calculator, you're going to get the exact same answer. So remember, you're calculating present value. So that's what we're going to do. Again, your future value is 1,000. Your payment is 55. Your period is 6. And your rate is 4%. And make sure you in Excel, you put in your, you put in your percent sign. All right? And once you do it, you're going to go ahead, and the answer you're going to get is 1,078.63, if you did it correctly. So check yourself. Make sure you get that. And let's check ourselves. So interest rates, the coupon rate is 5.5%. It went down, market rates went down 4%, which means the bond price should go up. Yes, 1,078.63 is bigger than 1,000. Therefore, yes, that checks. It is the right answer. Now, let's do another problem. So now we're looking at a semi-annual bond. And there is differences because notice this is a $4,000 bond instead of 1,000. Right? So you've got to take that into consideration when you figure out what those annual payments or semi-annual payments are going to be and you've got to make sure that you keep everything as semi-annual. So again we've got to do the exact same thing we did before. We've got to figure out what our present value is. We don't know it is. We know that our future value is a $4,000 because it's a $4,000 bond. It's on the face of the bond. The payment is going to be then that 4000 so we take the face value, times 4.25% divided by 2 because it's a semi-annual bond. Don't forget to do that. So 4,000 times, and it's going to be 4.25 percent divided by 2, and that's really 2 and, a, and, a, and um, an eighth percent, right? 2.125. So you take that times 4,000 and you get $85. Right, so it's going to be 85, oops, I'm sorry, that's not right. That can't be right. 4,000 times 2.125%. Yep, it's $85. That is right, $85. Okay, I was right. <laughs> Second I asked myself. Then my period is going to be 3 times 2, or 6 semi-annual periods. 3 years two semi-annual periods per year, that's six semi-annual periods. My rate is going to be 6% per year, but I'm doing semi-annual, so I got to buy it two, and you need to put it in as 3%. So do the calculation. So again, I am trying again to figure out present value. Again, my rate is going to be 3% because it's semi-annual. My period is instead of three years, it's six years because there's six semi-annual periods. My payment is 4,000 times 4.25% divided by 2, or $85. And my future value is $4,000. Make sure you put it in this $4,000. Then my answer, if you do it right, is $3,810.40. And here's my check. Interest rates went up. They went from 4.25 to 6%, right? And I'm going to use this 4.25 to 6%. So interest rates went up. 
bond prices should go down. Did it go down? Yes, I went from 4000 to 3000 My bond price did go down. It's a check. Hopefully this helped you get through your bond problems. Good luck.